Hi there, I'm Kenda with Finn Real Estate Group and every month about this time I like to kind of come on and update you regarding what's going on in the market in Los Cabos uh, as far as real estate is concerned. Now you might remember we've talked about there are several different sections of the Los Cabos real estate market starting with on the Pacific side of the peninsula you have the Pacific, then you have Cabo, and then you have this stretch of real estate between Cabo and San Jose del Cabo called the Corridor. And then moving into the to the east, we have San Jose del Cabo, which is where I live, so I watch very closely. And then going around up past the San Jose area, we have what's called the East Cape. And the East Cape is pretty much an off-grid, uh, still pretty virgin beach area that is quickly developing. So I like to try to give you an idea of what's happening in each of these markets every month. I'm finding that the market still here in Cabo is still pretty robust, even though we are seeing a lot of economic instability in the United States and Canada, and especially the stock market with, with the interest rates um, rising. You know, Cabo is primarily and historically a cash market. So we're kind of really observing the difference in the market here and there in that we have a little bit more stability here because people aren't as affected by mortgages because most people here do purchase their property uh, with cash. So having said that, um, I, I am going to start updating you a little bit more about the Pacific side and the East Cape. But, uh, up until now in my previous videos, I've only uh, focused on the primary Los Cabos sections, but I am going to start throwing in the Pacific side and the East Cape because there's some very exciting things happening in these areas and we're seeing the price points really increase and we're seeing a lot of big uh, uh, corporate dollars coming into these areas which signals that there's something big coming so I'm watching them very closely. So let's start with the Pacific side. Right now on the Pacific side there are 143 total properties on the market um, mostly it's, it's houses. There aren't a lot of condo developments on the Pacific side. There are 23 condos on the market on the Pacific side, but primarily 120 uh, are going to be houses. And I'm seeing uh, some really nice luxury properties come up on the Pacific side. As a matter of fact, my brokerage has one listed right now and it's absolutely stunning on the Pacific side. So. Um, I'm seeing a, a big increase in that area. And then when we move down into Cabo, um, before when we talked about Cabo, the first month there were 276 properties on the market. That was, I think, in April. And then in May, I noticed that the, the available properties dropped to about 211 uh, properties in May. And this month, an interesting thing has happened. Around the middle of this month, it, it dropped again to about 169 available properties in Cabo San Lucas. So I've noticed a pretty sizable, what's that, maybe 40% reduction in available properties in uh, Cabo San Lucas area. So traditionally, we've had a lot of real estate there, and we're really noticing a decrease in the available properties in the Cabo area. And moving on to the Cabo uh, corridor, in April we had 212 available properties. Then we saw a little bit of an increase due to all of the condos going in in that area, and it went up to about 240. And it's still in increasing a little bit. We are currently at about 257 available properties on the Cabo corridor, and of those, about 44 are condos. The rest are houses. San Jose Corridor started at about 75 the first month that I tracked this for you, dropped to 69, and then we bounced back up this month to 85, which is pretty, it's a pretty good recovery for uh, available properties on that San Jose Corridor, um, and uh, about 41 of those are condos. And then my favorite area, San Jose del Cabo, where I live, um, we still have a, a, a dwindling amount of available properties. The first month we had 70. Uh, in May we had 67 and now we're down to 60. Um, so really seeing a, a reduction again in properties. Um, 
41 of the 60 are condos and only 19 are homes. The gap that I'm seeing mostly is in the $1 million to the $2 million price point. Um, I'm seeing that we are still getting a few lower end properties below 500,000 and then high, you know, above three and four million. But that, that middle, um, middle range is still pretty slim. And then finally, I'm gonna throw in the East Cape uh, for you where I'm seeing some pretty exciting things happen. And right now the total uh, properties on the East Cape is 42 that are available. Um, only five of those are condos and those are all pre-construction. The other 37 are houses, several of which are also pre-construction. So if you have any questions about any more specific areas or anything in those cabos that is of interest to you, I track these numbers very closely. I try to see if I can uh, you know, parallel any of the things that are happening in the, in the market here with what's happening in the market in the United States where I'm from and in the, the market in Canada. And it looks like uh, Canada and the United States are seeing a big downturn while we're kind of kind of remaining, um, remaining pretty stable. So again, my name is Kenda and I would love to talk to you about any questions you might have. Um, please feel free to follow my channel and leave me any messages and I definitely will respond to them. Have a great day.